Hello everyone, this is James Nussbaumer of jamesnussbaumer.com and I am the author of The Master of Everything, A Story of Mankind and the World of Illusion We Call Life. I'm so proud of this book, which we're going to talk just a little bit about, but really the most important uh, thing we got to, to, to discuss really is about you and how to make good things happen in your life is the name of this blog. Well, how do we do that? Let's go on and, and uh, let me say, you know, first of all, go ahead and just keep doubting yourself and relying on them doubts and living in those doubts and see how far it gets you. Let me explain. Once you have a handle on allowing your real and true self to shift forward in your mind, you will easily focus on what it is that you truly want to accomplish in this world. The farther and more forward that you shift, the more you will feel your spirit becoming in charge. But however, you know, a uh, little bit of a warning because we all have the elusive ego-based mind in us, distractions are still going to try to control us. Yes, they do. A Course in Miracles states, though, that you will never rest until you know your function and fulfill it, for only in this can your will and your Father's will be wholly joined. Let me repeat that. That's just a beautiful statement. And, I, and I, maybe I'll rephrase, uh, paraphrase it just a little bit. It's saying, you know, you will never rest until you know your function and fulfill it. For only in this can your will and your Father, who is your divinity, your God, your, that you will be wholly joined. So in other words, if you're not living your true free will, your happiness, total happiness, is never going to happen. You've got to start living it because it's joined with your divinity and your divinity wants you to have it. You know, think about business owners. Any business owner who says he or she has never even for an instant doubted or feared if he was on the right path is really not being honest with themselves. Even entrepreneurs with a burning passion in their guts and that big-time bulldog persist persistence, we all have quitting days in us. Sure we do. Um, I surely can vouch for this myself because... Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, I was a business owner for all my life. And we surely will at times question our natural abundance, our ability, and our commitment. Those three things I want to talk about for a second here. Abundance, ability, and commitment. But there's, you know, this doubting Thomas in us is our vulnerable side. It's the elusive ego-based mind at work on us. You know, rather, but what we can choose to do is birth the new era co-create with evolution and break through the human consciousness meaning tap into your subconscious and make a commitment number one I'd written my first three books from prison and by hand in composition journals a scary voice in my head would would ask how would I land a publisher those were my outlandish haunting hellish thoughts when the final chapter was nearing its completion from the chaotic, volatile, and often violent den of the cell block, a blissful feeling continued to flow through me. No kidding, it really. I knew I was going to miss this project, but my first book, this here, The Master of Everything, I knew I was going to miss this too because I could not get it to mature beyond the handwritten stage due to no computer whatsoever in prison. So regardless, I kept at it and I hand wrote everything. Yes. My only resource was, if I didn't want to handwrite, was, which was really not a resource at all, was to stand in line to use the ancient, old, poor quality, old-fashioned typewriter. <laughs> that I would not have been able to have quality time sitting there. So need I say, even that typewriter with, you know, with missing keys and ribbons that were worn down and everything was not up to a published standards. So I knew that one day, I'd, when I got out of prison, I'd be transferring my data to my home computer. And I'd also know that the appropriate editing would find its way to hover over my work. But during that time, it was a feeling like not being able to send your cherished kid off to college. You know, your child, the kid who desperately desired to change the world, 
With all my perseverance, though, and my, wor my words did mature into book form, handwritten into a growing pile of journals. Here they are, right here. I want to show these to you, right here. These are my journals. This stack, right here. I had written in eight years of prison, right here. Let me open one of the, this envelope here on the top to show you exactly what I had written in. I, this is one book here. This is a book we're editing now. Uh, these little composition journals are, and here is the words, okay, written in there. And these words are, this is for the, the, a future book to the, to the series. So this whole thing that I'm showing you here is filled with journals that I had no choice but to bury deep in my footlocker and protect them with all my life. And when I walked out of prison, I was carrying this in my arms, just like this, walking out of the prison gate. <laughs> and that's all I had left, It was that. So, you know, they continued to, you know, so... My point is, is regardless, I kept to my commitment. This was my commitment. You can see these words right here. These are actual words. And these, it, it, it was the best I could come up with. These composition journals, just like this. This is my book. This is, this is what made this right here in the second book and the third book and more to continue. So my point is, is that, when we, when we keep to our commitment, then we lead to our ability. Our ability. My only other resource was not really the resource what I was telling you. So I had to hand write these things. But during that time, but during that time, there was, you know, as these journals sat in the bottom of my footlocker while I continued to diligently write book two, the sequel, the sequel to this one, which, by the way, that sequel is going to be out here soon by January 1st, I'm hoping. Ozark Mountain Publishing Company is my publisher. And I'm just so thrilled with this. It's just so exciting. But then there's, you know, but that same voice encouraged me to keep writing. And, in, and a third book was launched in my mind, which is being edited right now. And I've been promised a contract on that book as well. So this book here, The Master of Everything, is a story of mankind in the world of illusion we call life surely is a child to me and in many respects it's like the experience of watching my daughters who are now adults but watching them grow up you know that was the experience of writing this book while I was in prison you know it, it, it resembles watching my daughters grow up and I remember asking them my two daughters in a in a joking and affectionate manner, you know, teasing them as cute little girls on their birthdays and saying things like, hey, you know, promise me you'll never grow any older. I want you to stay this cute little girl forever. And, and they would say, oh, I promise, Dad, but I don't know that I can keep that promise. And, you know, we'd laugh and, and it was a funny thing. But inevitably, my daughters did grow up and they're adults now and they're doing whatever they have to do to make a difference in the world. But my book is ready, and it's on its way, and it's on sale everywhere right now, wherever books are sold. It's ready for you to find your way to a supreme knowledge of your own so you can lead yourself and find out how you can start becoming the master of everything. Learning how to turn what it is that your, your burning desire that's going on inside of you, turn it into what you really want to do in life. That's what it's all about, and that's what's important in this world, and that's what I hope that you go after, and that's why I wrote all this material that uh, for people that want to know how to go out and just do whatever it is they want to do in life. Hey, everyone, I'm just so excited about all of this, and I hope you can be too. Hey, in the description box of this um, YouTube video, feel free to click on my website, and there's some links that can lead you to some real abundance videos that you can watch. And, and if you're on my written blog right here, there's also some presentations there that you can uh, take a look at, click on, and, and feel free to watch them without any fear at all or being, feel, don't worry about ever anything having to do with me that you're, uh, you know, 
something something's being pushed on you or anything like that because that's that will never be the case hey everyone have a good life and do what you want to really do do what it is you want to do in life thank you thanks for listening to me